In chapter 13 of Wuthering Heights, Kathy has recovered from her brain fever, but she will never be the same. Also, she and Edgar are expecting a baby. Mrs. Dean receives a letter from Isabella, who asks how Mrs. Dean preserved the common sympathies of human nature while living at Wuthering Heights, and then asks, is Heathcliff a man or a devil? She then describes what was her first night at Wuthering Heights. Arriving without Heathcliff, Joseph shoved a torch fire in her face, and Hareton threatened to sick his dog Throttler on her. Inside, there was no servant to help her, so she wandered around the house, eventually running into Hindley, who has long shaggy hair now, curses Heathcliff, and generally appears insane. Hindley showed Isabella the pistol he embellished with a spring knife on the barrel. He lurks outside Heathcliff's bedroom door every night, planning to kill him if the door is ever unlocked. The only thing really stopping him is the chance to get his money back and his control of Wuthering Heights. Holding the gun, Isabella was struck by how powerful it made her feel, and Hindley jealously snatched the gun away. In the kitchen, Joseph stuck his fingers on the oatmeal, so Isabella offered to cook it, but Joseph yelled at her for making it lumpy. Meanwhile, Hareton drinks the milk they're supposed to share right from the jar, getting his spit in it. Disgusted and exhausted, Isabella tried to find a bedroom, but Joseph said there's nowhere for her to sleep. Heathcliff keeps his bedroom locked, and no one is allowed inside. Isabella then threw the oatmeal on the floor, and Joseph leaves her there, hoping Heathcliff sees her act that way so he would beat her. Just then, Throttler comes in, and Isabella realizes he's a dog from Skulker's Litter, a puppy old Linton gave Hindley long ago. Throttler nuzzled Isabella and ate the oatmeal. Then Isabella hid in Hareton's room until Joseph came upstairs to put him to bed. Isabella fell asleep in a chair by the fire. Heathcliff returned and woke her, asking why she was sleeping there. When she said it's because our bedroom is locked, he took offense, correcting her. It is not, nor ever shall be their bedroom to share. Only his! In chapter 13, a harrowing recounting within a story that's a recounting, Hareton supplies the strongest example of a dangerous environment's effect on the people in it when he threatens Isabella with a dog attack in response to her kindness. Hareton himself is shown to have grown up like an attack dog. Isabella having grown up in the gentle environment at Thrushcross Grange is significant because it sets up a new situation for the reader to witness firsthand what may become of good when it's surrounded by violence. Often in the novel, major characters, in due course, enter into a battle between good and evil, pride and humility, pity and judgment, and Isabella's first test happens when she holds Hindley's gun and it makes her feel powerful.